So today we're looking at a Turgrid God of Fright deck. What we're going to do is something absolutely crazy. We want to get Turgrid out, which gets tough whenever your opponent discards on sacks. And then we're going to try and do one of two silly things. Number one, fraying omnipotence. Each player loses half their life, discards half the cards in the hand, and sacks half their creatures right and up. You'll get everything your opponent discards and sacrifices onto your field, which is crazy. The other one we have is Awaken the Earth's Well, which is a bit riskier, but each player discards all cards in hands and creates that many zombies. So not only do we get the zombies from this, but we also get whatever the opponent discarded. Okay, so if you want to see how to win a game this fast, well, this is going to be it. Really, it's going to be very fast because it's a turn one Liliana, which is somehow a uh, something you can do in Magic the Gathering. Arena. Get rid of the Beseech. A bit sad, but it's just too expensive right now. And we're going to have the Tiny Bone Synergy here. Let's just draw extra cards. Oh my goodness. This is wild. Get rid of the Triumph. I doubt they're going to have any creatures. Rather. Not too sure of the Etherbox Reservoir. Okay, so do they have the kill spell for Liliana? We shall have to see. I think we get she rid of the Etherbox. This is so brutal. I should come leave the letting us follow. I mean, letting is not the right word. I guess not stopping would be more accurate. Wow, fraying omnipotence as well. I think we're actually going to get rid of the swamp here. I want to keep the omnipotence. The lols. And next turn we can actually, if we really wanted to, we could separate the lands into two piles. Murderous Rider. Okay, so our streak oh, has ended. Okay, fine. I think we've done a pretty good job of ripping the hand to shreds. Burglar Rat. So they're going to have... They're going to have counter spells. Surely. I'm a bit concerned because they're obviously they're not too worried about our field. If they play a land next turn, they can go for the Ashiok as well. <laughs> no, okay. Interesting. They've obviously got counter magic up. Because they didn't play the Murderous Rider. Just keep drawing cards and doing things. City Stalker Connoisseur, okay. That's not too bad. And they have the kill spell. Okay, sure. So next turn, if they go for the Ashiok, mm, they still don't have fifth land. Did they discard it earlier? They didn't discard it. Interesting. Have they just got loads of counter magic? Kind of crazy if they do. If they win this game, I'll be pretty upset considering the damage we dealt so early on. Okay, so the ritual of soot goes away. Let's discard this. Oh wow, invoke. So if they go for the Ashiok, I think we're in a fantastic situation here. Okay, let's just keep doing our thing. Let's uh, try and discard both the cards in their hand. And even if they counter it, we've basically discarded one. Wash away. Interesting. Well, they're going to be in for an absolute treat if they resolve the Ashok here. Murderous Rider. Okay. Let's see if they've got more counters. Right, they're completely out now. Man, what a toxic deck. I mean, I know we're, we did a really dickish thing, but my goodness. Counter, 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 counter. Ridiculous. So the best thing to do, I think, would be invoke despair. 
But first, let's attack. They might double block, but if they do, we get two creatures out of this because they're going to lose one of them. To the Invoke Despair, and then they'll lose the Ashiok to the Invoke Despair. Although we have to, actually, we have Death Touch, don't we? So to be honest, let's just invoke the spare here. Yeah, I think that was the right move. And we even get to use Arcane Signet. Wonderful. Down to eight. We've done surprisingly well considering we had our turn one Liliana. It looks like they've still got counter magic, which is kind of crazy. Let's test that theory with the Lantern. It's funny because this Lantern is probably more effective than the Turgrid side now. <coughs> Considering it lets it, you know, it deals three damage. Make it disappear. Well, they're still hanging in there. Rod on the snow goes away. <laughs> oh, I love destroying counterplays. It's so fun. It's so much fun, just given how many counters they had, I think they deserve to lose that one. Just for the honour. <laughs> no honour. I really can't say no to a Burlesque Citadel. It's just lovely. One of my faves. Tracks of Praetor's voice. We see this all the time in my channel. It's becoming kind of like a meme now. If I don't see any tracks on a video, then call the police. We got rid of a mystical dispute. Interesting. That's very meta, oh my god. Just goes to show how many blue decks there are running around the format. We, we see the mystical dispute. It's crazy. Growth spiral here. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. I'm pretty good at this game, guys. Pretty good at this game. I've been at it a while. Growth spiral, 7 to 10, they're going to go for the attractor, I guess. Maybe. It's risky. We've got black mana open. Or do they not care? Maybe they got balls. So in the mouthless. Well, here's an interesting thing. We can kill that pretty Five easily here. Yeah. Right. Nice. Annoying that they have the residual creature, I have to say. You will serve me well. That is pretty annoying. Okay. I don't really want to use the Shielder's Edict on this token. I might have to. Emergent Sequence. They want a ramp for some reason or another. Well, I guess we'll just get rid of one then. So we want them to kill the island. Yeah, okay. We've got two mana up. Let's try the Davriel here. They might have a counter. Okay. Interesting. Let's make let's pull some aggro towards Davriel. That could be good. They might just have a kill spell for him though. It's entirely possible. So they attack me or a planeswalker. They discard a card if they can't sack an attacking creature. It's pretty powerful. Ability. I, I'd rather have just... Try to best me. Interesting, they're just going to go for dudes. Show them the edge of your blade. Land is quite good. Citadel, here we go. Divest. Okay, okay. We can keep going. Discard stuff, please. And we could kill the flyer. Oh, let's just tick up. Let's make smart decisions, shall we? Okay. So the the wanderer. 
the Wanderer is an issue, but mostly because she can just she can clear the field of creatures, but she's got all the creatures anyway, so I think we got pretty lucky with our double discard there and the Mythos and the Sparkle is getting rid of those. But now we need a board wipe because this is getting in our hand. He doesn't really have an ultimate there, that's the interest. Oh, Languish. That's crazy. Wow, that was super lucky, guys. That was the most lucky top deck in a while. Right, let's get some conditions going here. Trust me, you won't refuse my offer. What's in our graveyard? We've got just the rat. Let's do the draw card thing, and then we'll go for the losing life. That's fine as well. Choose a creature that play controls. We only have one. So let's see what's in the hand here. Immersion ultimatum. Holy crap. I think... I think it's safe to say we probably would have lost if they resolved this. It's a very mana intensive spell though. Kind of crazy that that's even in the deck. Damn, I actually can't believe we won that. That's that's blown my mind a little bit. All right, let's try and kill this Golos guy. It is my mission to annihilate Golos players. Plan tax. Okay, that's pretty much a dead card. If you go first with land tanks, it's just not that great. Wow. Okay, I think we might have got this player. That's their hand. We, we might be okay, guys. In this protection. I mean, that is going to be the most annoying card here. But we, we'll see. We'll use a Mind Spike next turn. Maybe a Rancor, actually. Let's see what's in the hand. Genesis Ultimatum. Um, I still think the Witness goes. It's the cheapest thing they can cast, and also these these two are just are just seven mana. The one off Golos though. Joint Exploration. Funny name for a card if you. You're into uh, smoking certain things. So we could legit just use Awaken the S while here. I feel like that just hurts us more than them. So let's just get rid of their expensive cards. Well, they get to choose here, don't they? If it's equal value. Okay. Part of me kind of thinks maybe I should have gone for the Tergrid there, but... So they're going to get land. I, I actually think land tax in this deck is awful. Because Golos ramps, and you'll always have more lands than me. Pretty much. Well tree, though. That is a pretty disgusting card. Let's get rid of the Elspeth's Nightmare. Shieldred. Rainpool. So I want to discard cards, really. Each player discards a card and sacks. Yeah, that's going to be good. We'll get rid of the... Awaken. And these, the Connoisseur, I think. So they're going to risk it. They need to get a land. So they basically, if they get a land, they can play the Genesis Ultimatum, which is going to suck. Binding. Oh, dear. So that's going to kill the Rancor, I guess. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh, that, that was a really good hit for them. 
Now here's an interesting thing. When binding goes away after the third phase, it's sacrificed, which means we get it. So let's hope they don't understand how that works. We got the land. That's really going to suck. Oh, okay. So that's not too bad. So we've got four, five, six, seven. We can't go for both. Let's go for Shieldred. And then we'll attack in with the Turgrid here. The Menace is interesting to put on the Turgrid. I'm not really sure why Menace was put on here. I guess it's to really exemplify the fact she's annoying, but we already know that. So then we get the Binding here, which is kind of awesome. And then we can use it on the Augur. Sadly, we're not going to get a land because we don't have any forests in our deck. Diabolic Intent. That means we get it because they sacked it. That's quite interesting. But now they can get any card into their hand. And if it's going to be Ultimatum, of course, it is Cheeky Bastard. Now let's play as... It's just another level of dick, right? Because... You're already playing the best card ever made. Then it's like compounding it with the best card ever made. So. Jeez. We'll get rid of the River's Rebuke. <clears throat> Although the irony is when they play the Saga, it's going to... Let's, let's test them here. If they go for Phase 2... Oh, they're going to go for Phase 1. Interesting. Okay. Pardon me. To make him, yeah. So if they had gone for phase two there, we would we would have actually got the cruelty when it went off in phase three. So they're gonna get any card down to eight. Wow. Rivers rebuke. It's just the same stuff over and over again, isn't it? They only know like. Some players only have like three cards they know how to use. River's Rebuke, Time Warp, and Immersion Ultimate. It's like the same things. So they've now got Binding back in their freaking hand. Okay. Right, let's, let's test them again. As if. Oh, as if they had a counter spell. But now they've got the binding anyway. That really does suck. So then we get the cruelty. And then we get to search. This is funny, the amount of times we're just swapping sagas. So what do we want? They're down to eight. I don't really know what we can kill them with. There's nothing we can just kill them straight up with. I guess the Citadel is going to be the best thing here. Because we've got the Aether Flux. So they use the, the Binding. Oh, they're going to get all the guards, aren't they? Oh, so then we get the land, but then we're just going to die because they're going to get every single guard, aren't they? And if they get every single guard... Double power, but they don't have... They don't have... Oh, they do have haste. What's actually given them haste? Oh, the Perforos. Okay. Uh... This player just uses... It's basically a combo city, isn't it? My goodness. Everything they play is a freaking annoying card. Let's give this a go. Two discard effects. Removal spell and a weird silly card. Can we get this off? 
Probably not, because we can never keep Turgrid around for long enough. <laughs> okay, Elvish Mystic has to go there. Rivers Rebuke. Sure thing. I respeak to discards. We're going to have to get very lucky. But the hand isn't too scary here. They only have one land and a mystery card. What's the mystery card? Nobody knows. Liana, will it resolve? It does resolve. This is my home. Let's and get rid of the Awaken here. Sadly, it's just... I just feel like it's not going to do anything. The only way to kill these tier 1 decks is to destroy their hand, it seems. Spring Bloom Druid. So that's going to ramp by plus 1. Don't know why, I'm just not a fan of this card. It's okay, I just think... I think it's better in a deck that cares about... Sacrifice. So we're going to lose our removal Drop spell it. here. But they're going to lose land 5 or river tribute. I'm guessing they kept a land. Yep. And they get an armoured scrap gorger. Okay, and there's a harrow. We're in a pretty good situation. To be honest, let's make them sack a creature. Ah, one of your friends has to Interesting leave. choice. I think I would have gone for the emoji because then they could have actually cascaded again if they got a land, which they did. Yeah, I think they've just seen that play. They could have recast the emoji. Damn. We got them good with a silly mistake, to be honest, but we've all made them. Right, so there is a caveat with this build. It's. It's pretty much Hell cube, as you saw. Everything's going to be pretty rough. Golos, Emoti, Atraxa, so on and so forth. And yeah, it's very tough. You will lose quite a lot of games. That's the disclaimer. It's because her potential, her ceiling is so high. You can do some crazy things. Now, in during recording, I didn't get, I didn't manage to get off my call, Awaken the Earth, while or Frank Omnipotence, but I did do it once when I wasn't recording yesterday, which is a bit of a shame because that was really cool to see Resolve. You basically end up winning the game pretty much imminently after doing this because you get all that stuff. It's kind of crazy. Even if they're one creature, you, they sack that because it's rattled up, even though it's half. The deck's pretty strong. If it wasn't always facing Hell Q, I think the issue is... You can discard all day long, but if they drop and if Mizzet Reborn on a Traxxer, they're just going to get all the cards back. And that's something about having cards in the command zone that makes them really powerful and immune to stuff like this. The only way to get around that is to have your own advantage engine. And the only way I can really sustain that properly is with stuff like Bolas Citadel, because it can just give you so much advantage late game. But yeah, that's just the risk of the deck. You've probably seen a lot of these decks, and they are horrible to face. But it's still an interesting challenge, because it's not just easy mode. It is, it's a powerful deck, but it requires thought, especially when you have to keep choosing what to discard a lot of the time. But yeah, if you want to see the deck list, it will be in the description below. And if you want to support the channel, because YouTube doesn't really pay me much, any support on Patreon or Ko-fi is greatly appreciated. On Ko-fi, you can donate any amount. And on Patreon, if you become an adult dragon patron, you get a custom video of your choice. You can tell me what you want, what commander, and I'll do the video for you. All right. Cheers. Did you know that you can help my channel by watching another one of my videos? Go ahead. You know you want to.